whatever that deeper dimension that cannot be that cannot be sensed, you know, through the five senses, you know, when they just completely relax and open, open up, you know, to that that uh, that deeper dimension within themselves and all around them, you know, and and have this experience of oneness of union, which is you know what yoga is. We came for a yoga retreat with our instructor, uh, Johnny Ron Sapa, and it's been extraordinary. The retreat's been uh, been great. The, uh, the grounds are very peaceful, very tranquil. The massage, the food, uh, laying out by the pool, uh, going for walks around the resort. It's just, um, it's been a fantastic experience. This is my uh, first trip to Thailand been uh, wanting to do it for a, for a long time and uh, yeah this is definitely a, a, a great way to do it get some exercise and like I said good food and, and really good people I heard the word Ayurveda growing up in Thailand and I was wondering because I studied fashion design you know, I had that and so I think that really gave me a good grounding and, and um, connection to people, to other people, because if you're in fashion design, you're really in your, your little world, you know, you're in your mind the whole time, totally lost touch with other people and your body. And so yeah, and I was doing um, jobs like that to kind of keep me afloat while I study yoga and Ayurveda. I wanted to be students again, to learn something that I feel that is really close to my heart, that's something that would connect me to my essence and I was flipping through a through yoga journal and there's the word Ayurveda there, there's an article about Ayurveda and somehow that clicked and right away I was looking for a program for Ayurveda. It's very much like Chinese medicine is from India rather than from China and they're using the five elements balancing, you know, rebalancing your, your five senses and it also has the spiritual component to it. When I was doing teacher training, I mean a lot of other teacher trainees, um, most of them never heard of Ayurveda, never had any training about Ayurveda. You know, to me that really gave me um, um, an idea of what a yogic lifestyle is rather than showing up you know, on the mat and doing the poses. You know, I have this whole uh, lifestyle routine going that's really supportive to the yoga practice. But I constantly bring them back to their body because the body is always the vehicle, is, is the tool to connect to, you know, whatever deeper dimension that the person feel within themselves. You know, so, you know, I, I called it spirit or I call it consciousness or awareness. It's that too, I always bring them back to the body because, you know, taking care of the body and exercising the body, but it's, it's as the way, you yes. know, to connect to yeah. the, the essence. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, it's not just for a better, you know, just a better body. Oh, I love the class because it challenges all of our flexion and extension muscles and joints, and every day it's a new experience. And she comes up with some great exercises, or postures, as asanas that we've never done before. The yoga area is great. I'm, I'm new to yoga, um, so I was a little apprehensive at, at first, but uh, getting up early in the morning, seeing the sun rise, doing the yoga, um, and then coming down to a, a wonderful breakfast, it's a, a great way to start the day. And I just love going to, you know, different countries, so just the, the culture here, the people, uh, the people are just beautiful. Janya's interpretation is a little different than what I've been studying, but it's a very spiritual uh, experience. And I'm here for Loic Pritong. I'm going to make my little banana leaf boat and put it out on the river, send away all the, the negative emotions and things from the past starting fresh.
I've come from San Jose, California. It's beautiful there too, but not like this. It's so peaceful here. The food is amazing. The yoga is good. The massages are great. Spa treatments. It's all the pampering you can handle. And you really have a good time here. <laughs> yeah, I decided it's not going to be a detox, you know, a deep cleanse because uh, this place has so much to offer. And, and I love this place. This place is fantastic. We have a hard time stopping laughing. We've been laughing for a week. <laughs> laughing, eating, and planning our massages and yoga classes. <laughs> I, had, I have to say, I had very high expectations, um, and it's exceeded anything I could have imagined. It really, it's uh, it's a paradise. I, everywhere we look, it's uh, we just keep seeing new flowers and trees and beautiful planting plants and plantings, and um, everything about it is is gorgeous. And I think most especially the people are so warm and welcoming. There's really a there's a beautiful spirit here, and we're we're loving every minute of it.